everyone, it's Kendall here and today we're going to talk about my new hair color because I figured some of you guys were like, how did that happen? <laughs> First of all, I'm going to talk about the hair itself. So this is, again, another full wig that I made out of some bundles. I really like making wigs out of bundles instead of just buying wigs recently because I feel like they fit really, really well on my head and wigs, I can never quite get them to be like snug enough because the top of my head is so like... The top of my head is actually really small, so I need, like, a snug wig. Actually, this one is the tiniest bit too small. This hair is from Annabelle Hair on AliExpress. 18, what is it? 18, 18, 16, 14 length, 14 inch closer. Cut the bottom just a little tiny bit so that everything is even, but it should be still around maybe 17 inches. The hair is still soft, it's still pretty. I should have shots of like what it looked like when I first got it. And I just colored the hair so that it is this pretty rose goldy color. Um, on camera, it's looking way more red. In person, it has more of a kind of yellowy tone to it, so it's like more goldy, <laughs> I guess. Um, so yeah, I... The, oh, the bleaching process was really easy, actually, it was fine, but the coloring was really rough because of my stupidity. Um, I ended up trying to dye it with ion dyes while the hair was still wet. Stupid idea, it didn't take. I have like footage of doing that, but I decided to re-dye it again with a Dora color, which comes in like a bottle and it's a lot more fluid and easy to work with. Um, I used fire red for that. Fire pink, which is like a hot pink, and then I put a little bit of plum dye to make it more like purple and a little less red, and then uh, like half of a bottle of platinum hair dye, which gives it this kind of metallic-y finish, and I love it so much. To be honest, this was not the color I was going for originally though, I was trying to go for mauve. See how that worked out. I'm really excited, I really like the hair. It is not as loud and obnoxious as I thought it was going to be. I don't know. I've had like pinky hair before. I'll put a clip somewhere. I had it like two-ish years ago. Um, so it's, but this is more like the grown-up version of that hair color. It's not as just like straight up blah, pink. It's actually a lot more reddy and kind of understated and purple. And I really like it. Um, there's not really much I could say about the hair itself so far. Um, it did behave really well. I didn't have like a whole lot of shedding. Um, you just had to condition it and stuff after you do the bleaching. Granted, I didn't bleach it to some crazy high color. I did like, it was still very yellow because I wanted to have that kind of muted undertone. I didn't want it to be like some crazy bright color. So I only, well, but even though it, it, it is a crazy bright color. I constructed the wig on a um, dome cap and for the first time I used the glue stick method. So that might be, glue gun method rather. So that might be why I'm not experiencing any shedding, which is really surprising to me because I did cut the wefts and I also did bleach this hair, bleach the crap out of it. Um, yeah. So I don't really have a whole lot to say about it, but I think it looks good. Um, I'll keep you updated probably in the comment section of this video if anything changes with the hair, but so far everything is doing swell. I'll leave the link down to the hair and any promotions if they have any. I can't remember off the top of my head if they have any. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to let me know um, and I will answer them as quickly as I can. I mean, if I get a bunch of the same questions, then maybe I'll just do a separate video on it. Yeah? Okay. I think that'll be good. I'll see you guys later. Bye.